Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series of Checkpoint Firewall Configuration. In last video, we saw how we can connect to iLab, how we can take console access of devices and if there is any requirement for the reconfiguration that can be done. So in this video, we will focus on how to do the initial configuration on Checkpoint Firewall and on router R1 and R2. So we will use below IP schema here. So on Ethernet 0, 1, 2, 3 and then we will use this IP schema uh, for router R1 and R2. So once that is done, uh, so once that is done, uh, we will do a small verification. We should be able to reach all the subnets from the firewall. So let's see how we can configure this. You first need to log into a uh, test machine which is 192.168.70.100 and then from there we will start uh, doing the configuration of R1, R2 and firewall. So I'm on the RDP machine. Let me close this because this is not required as of now. Let me close the console connection and launch uh, Mozilla for example. So first we will configure the firewall and then we will configure R1 and R2 and then we will do a test from the firewall CLI. So firewall is accessible via 192.168.70.102 IP address. That's the management IP address. Login is admin and password is admin123. And if you see the topology, Ethernet 0 is with management IP address, Ethernet 1 should be 136.1.1.21, Ethernet 2 136.1.1.2 and then we have Ethernet 3 with one internet IP address which is 203.1.500.102. So that's something we have to configure first. Uh, go to network interfaces, Ethernet 0 is with management IP address, Ethernet 1 should have 136 1 1 2 1 1 0 2 and subnet mask would be 255 255 255 0 click on ok now go to ethernet 2 this will connect to r2 with subnet 136 1 1 double 2 dot 1 0 2 and then 255 255 255 0 <clears throat> and then ethernet 3 this is public IP address 203.115.100 and 102, 255.255.255.0. So we have now interfaces configured with their respective IP addresses. Go to static routing. Default route is still towards 203.15.97. This is something you need to add if this is not there in the configuration. Let's add two. Uh, static routes for 150.1.1.0 subnet 255 255 255 0 and this route if we see in topology uh, R1 uh, for R1 it is 150110 and for R2 it is 16110 and that R1 IP address is 136.1.121.11 so it should point to 136.1.121.11 so go to add gateway option click on IP address and then 136 1 sorry 11 okay and save this go to add again this time for 160.1.1.0 submit mask is 255.255.255.0 and this time it will be towards R2, let me see the IP address of R2 which is 122.12 okay 136.1.122.12 good, safe, so we have basic IP address configuration and the routing configuration on the firewall now we need to do the configuration on the routers uh, go to putty, go to console access for R1 address 5 so you can log into the box uh, using default uh, username and password which is VYOS and VYOS. Let me exit that and let me show you. Uh, yes, so VYOS and VYOS. Uh, you can do the configuration in configuration mode. Uh, so we, here we have two text file as well with the R1 and R2 configuration. 
so I'll not uh, typing everything because we have a configuration ready so you just can copy these commands and paste the commands over console uh, let's see what it says now set interface ethernet 0 so let's see if the configuration is in place or not so show you interfaces so we could see ethernet 0 we could see now ethernet 1 then we have a loopback address and 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 let me quickly verify if we have netstat minus rn route or not so we have now default route so you can mm, type these commands manually let me update this file uh, with uh, console information so com 5 to access r1 so you should be able to see this file once you will logged into this test machine let me save that okay uh, close this not required now go to putty uh, console 6 which is for r2 again if you see now there is no configuration related to r2 interface ip process i'll quickly copy these commands and paste this over console copy again and then paste so run show interfaces should have interfaces now uh, some issue it says ethernet 4 doesn't exist so maybe some problem in the okay so here it is some problem so you need to specify ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 so some problem is there in the script so it is good now loop back and everything okay so let me copy this again run show interfaces so we have everything commit we have done and now let's verify the routing routing is to which firewall which is 136.1.1.2.102 so r2 is also set now let me update the file with the console information com6 to access r2 perfect save this let's log into the firewall uh, 192.168.70.102 is the management ip address login with admin admin 123 as password and now try to ping 150.1.1.1 uh, it is not working try to ping 136.1.1.2.1.11 I'm able to ping uh, R1 physical interface let me try to ping 136.1.1.2.2 this is also not reachable uh, let's see if the connectivity is at layer 2 is good or not so show up uh, show up then dynamic all so uh, i don't see any arp entry for r2 ping 8.8.8.8 .8 so internet is reachable r1 is reachable r2 is not reachable so let's try again let me verify r2 ip address so it is 136.1.1.2.12 okay I believe we were trying to ping same IP address 136.1.1.2.12 not 22 okay so I can ping R2 as well so connectivity is through till physical interface IP address of R1 and R2 150.1.1.1 still not reachable 160.1.1.1.1 still not reachable so we will see in next video why 150.1.1.1 and 161.1.1 is not reachable. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you are enjoying video series of, from Trike System. Thank you.